Well, we're at the Debra Dinner Playhouse where the professionals perform. We're not the, I'm not the professional. I almost knocked him out. Nope. She, she, she hit me like three stooges kind of. Anyway, so we're at Derby Dinner Playhouse in Clarksville, Indiana on Marriott Drive. Um, I don't know the exact address. However, you know how to find it on Google. And, you know, just really cool here. We're going to go in there and talk to one of the um, actors, uh, Tina Joe who's been here a very long time and talk about their production and their menu for the buffet and all kinds of crazy things. So anyway, tune in um, to our Big Red Team channel. If they want to find out more about our local community, who do they need to talk to? Hubert, Mariana? Tina Joe. Tina, Tina Joe. Joe. Or if they want to see more videos like this, what do they have to do now? Oh. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe, folks. Like and subscribe. Everybody. I'm here with Tina Joe at Derby Dinner Playhouse here in Clarksville. Tina Joe, so tell us, what is your role here at Derby Dinner Playhouse? I am the luckiest at Derby because I have many roles. Um, I'm currently in rehearsals for our January show, Red Velvet Cake Wars. Um, so I'm an actor in that, and I have had the pleasure of being in a lot of shows in here uh, for the last 20 years. Um, but I'm also the director of Children's Theater and cool. um, the Performing Arts Academy. So I take care of the uh, Children's Theater Musical Theater. Me bleh. Sorry, the Children's Musical Theater Series, and I also take care of all of the youth performing arts classes, so the dance and acting and drama classes that we offer for kids. So how many shows does the Derby Dinner Playhouse put on each year? It's pretty amazing. We do eight main stage shows a year and eight. four children's theater shows a year, so we are constantly running a show pretty much our only days off are monday nights unless we have a concert which we have concerts on monday night sometimes okay. and then um, of course the big holidays will be off for christmas um, but we even have a thanksgiving um, matinee of our christmas show because some people that's their tradition is to come and yeah. have thanksgiving meal with us and then go off and spend the evenings with their families so we're here a lot <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it that's awesome <laughs> Hey Tina Joe, I'm Hubert with the Big Red Team uh, with Keller Williams. Uh, I just want to know, as a first time goer, what would it look, be an experience for me? Well, I think it's the perfect date because you come and you have an entire evening planned for you. So um, you come, we've got lots of parking, free parking, you don't have to find that. Um, you come in around 6, between 6 and 6.30 and are seated at a table and have uh, almost an hour uh, or a little bit over an hour to help yourself to the buffet, to have a cocktail, um, uh, to visit with your uh, guests that you come with that, d that night. Uh, and then at 7.15, you'll see our pre-show, which is our footnote performers. I was a footnote for 10 years, singing and dancing and waiting the floor. So you'll get to see a, a musical performance for 15 minutes, have another intermission where you might have dessert mm -hmm. or another cocktail. And then um, the main show starts at 7.45, and they typically run between till about 9.30 or 10.30, somewhere in between there, depending okay. on if it's a big musical that's really long or a short mystery that's tight. It, it really depends on the show that you're coming to see. But I, it's a great thing because you can have something to talk about, uh, especially right. if you're going to on a first date. You can bring them here and talk about the show and then talk about the show afterwards. Awesome. <laughs> So can you give us some exclusive content, like funny stories that you have from the cast, any favorite memories that you have from working here? That's a really great question and really hard. Um, I've been lucky enough to be either involved with or in like over, I think it's 90 shows here at Derby Dinner. So I have a lot in my memory bank. Um, one of my favorite shows that I've ever done was Bonnie and Clyde. Mm -hmm. It was um, a great musical that I didn't know what to expect, but I ended up loving um, being in. Um, I'm typically a lot of times in the murder mysteries, which I love. I think the fall and Halloween and a mystery are perfect together, so yeah. I love doing those. Um, 
as far as funny stories, one of the first shows that I was ever in was Fiddler on the Roof. And I don't know if you're familiar with that show, mm -hmm. but there, uh, it takes place in a, in a Russian village and um, there's a lot of dancing in circles like this. Oh, well. <laughs> and I was new to the stage and if, if there are any actors out there, you're probably typically perform in a stage where there's you know, an audience on one side and you know, the backstage is here. <laughs> and so it's really easy to know where you're going because the audience is all on one side. This theater, when I first started working here, was quite difficult because the audience is everywhere and every aisle looks exactly the same. And so I was a young performer in the chorus of Fiddler on the Roof and I was doing my twirling and suddenly realized I was not anywhere where I needed to be. And I was a danger to everyone because if, you, if you're not in the right place, then someone can run into right. you. And so I literally <laughs> stepped off the stage walked around to the right side of the stage that I was supposed to be on and then climbed up and continued to do my twirling. But hey. a little embarrassing. I, one audience, that's why you go to live theater because it's different every night <laughs> and you never know what someone's gonna do. Hey, but you're good at improvising is what I got from the story. So, you and learn. a good actor. <laughs> you, learn. you learn from theater that you never know when someone's going to forget a line or uh, miss an entrance. That's one other very funny story. I was in a show um, and there was supposed to be a lady who came on stage with this great actor here at Derby Dinner, Bill Hanna, and she didn't she didn't hear her cue. She was distracted by something. She didn't come on stage. And we were all panicking trying to get her and what, what's Bill gonna do? Do one of us go on in character or something? And he just started looking around the set and pretending that he was stealing stuff. So the <laughs> so he started picking stuff up and putting it into his pants and like hiding things. And the audience, of course, because he was so committed, thought it was totally part of the comedy. Like it was a comedy anyway, which helped a lot. But <laughs> just they totally thought it was hilarious and that it was part of the show. And so yeah. stuff like that happens. Yeah. <laughs>so tina joe earlier you mentioned buffet and my ears perked up because i love to eat <laughs> me too. so tell me about the, the the dining experience here what can people expect as far as the buffet well it's it's slightly different every time but there are always some classics that we always mm -hmm. have to have we always have a, a salad bar um uh, for those of us who are pretending to eat healthier <laughs> so we can pretending. have a little bit of that first um and then on our main buffet we always have several different kinds of meat sometimes it's roast beef sometimes there's carved turkey sometimes there's pork um, we almost always have fried fish and we we have g gotten away from fried chicken for a couple shows. We've tried to have some bourbon chicken and some different kinds of options, but people get really mad at us when we I don't. I can understand why. It's so, Indiana. It's fried chicken, So right? we, uh, most of the time, we have <laughs> fried chicken on the buffet. So we have all of that. And then also, you know, lots of vegetables and potatoes. Sometimes we'll have different kinds of potatoes uh, depending on the show. Um, but you can find all that on our website. If you're going, oh, cool. to, if you want to know wh what buffet you're getting, if you go to the, the website, derbydinner.com, and click on the show at the very bottom of that show page, it'll say view menu. So you can make sure that the, your special items are on there. So you can have different menu on different days, but the same show running. Actually, no, each nope. show, okay. each, okay. um, each production has the same menu for each evening show and matinee, Got but it. then it might change slightly when we move to a different show. So, Got it. Okay. Um, you know, what we have for Christmas typically is because it happens over our Thanksgiving holiday and our Christmas holiday, we have stuffing and dumplings Got and it. all kinds of goods of turkey. Um, and then that might change in January. We might go back to roast beef or something else. Um, okay. I will say it's a tra challenging time for us right now because the food supply and, and, and stuff <laughs> is, is, um, uh, kind of challenging so sometimes we have things that we weren't expecting but yes. it'll always be good you will not always you will not leave here hungry i okay. promise you that so i'm always curious there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes mm -hmm. so how many people are involved in the production total it depends on the show. Mm -hmm. The show that's going on right now at, in our evening production, A Christmas Story, has a lot of people. <laughs> we have 11 kids in the show, and is it 22 total, I think. Um, so a lot of people are involved in the show. And then we'll have small, sh smaller shows. For instance, our children's theater show right now only has six actors in it. So it's, it really depends. The, 
the actors that you see depends on the show that we're doing. Yeah. Um, backstage, we always have lots of people. We have our sound engineer and designer. Um, we have our stage manager, and if it's a big production, we have our assistant stage manager. We've got um, all of our designers that are on staff here, our costumer, props and sets. Um, set again our sound and our lighting uh, designer who makes magic happen on this stage um, and makes every set look different which is amazing um, and then you know a lot of our actors uh, also are our footnotes which are singing performers um, before the main stage show and they'll sometimes be singing and then serving you your uh, drink and then they'll run backstage and put on a wig and they'll come out and be in the show. So we've got eight of those permanently plus swings in there. So those people are always around, whether they're in the show or just getting to be our pre-show uh, for a particular production. Um, and then we just have a lot of actors who have worked here for years. They might not be here on staff, but they come back and have three or four contracts a year and spend mm -hmm. a lot of time with us. Our audience knows them and loves them. And so we have to keep bringing them back. Um, so there's a, it's, it's a wide variety. We also do get some actors from out of town. We have two um, houses uh, behind the theater, right by our uh, rehearsal studio, where we house actors from out of town. So we, especially with big productions or uh, productions that we call for unique talent, we a lot of times get those people from New York um, or Chicago, actors that are traveling around the country. Um, so it's, it really depends. But yep. our, our core staff, our production staff, and the people who work on that side of it, there's, there's here all the time. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm 49 years old as of this filming. And um, I can remember in like elementary school coming here to a production. So how long has Derby Dinner Plants been around? We opened just for you, apparently, because we opened 48 years ago. Holy so cow. you were one, and we're like, we gotta create <laughs> we gotta, something. We gotta make something happen. Yeah. So yes, 48 years. 1974 was our uh, first year, and that was awesome. uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing how long uh, it's been part of the community, and we're, it's because of the community because they support us and they say, "Don't go away." So yeah. we keep doing shows for them. I love it. <laughs> So Tina Joe, um, a lot of we've asked this question to a lot of people in the community. How has the pandemic, COVID, impacted the business here? Well, it was very different for a yeah. long time. Um, like many places, uh, we closed down in March of 2020. We were completely closed, um, but luckily our management was very smart. And during that time, they spent the money and the time to put in a whole air filtration system that um, was up to safety standards to try and keep everybody safe and we made a lot of changes for about a year once we did reopen in July of 2020 we had limited seating separated we moved the tables up farther apart from one another um, we had shields up between tables um, all of this before people could get the vaccine we yeah. wanted to make sure that everybody was uh, safe. We had plated meals where we brought them to the customers, and while we love that, we just don't have enough employees to do that for right. a full house now that we have um, uh, full audiences back. So um, lots of lots of hard, scary times. We feel like we're um, while we're still asking people to wear masks when they're in here. You're still in a very public place with lots of people. We do ask you to wear masks when you're not eating and drinking. But despite that, even with that, we now have all of our performers are now vaccinated fully vaccinated, we feel safe on this stage to take our masks off because of that and because there is distance between us and the, and the audience. So that's a huge change. We went through a time where we were doing shows with face shields and things to try and protect everybody so we wouldn't have to shut down. And um, lots of changes, but I'll tell you, I think it brought us closer together because we all yeah. had to figure out how are we gonna make this work? How are we gonna get this place back open and keep everybody safe? and. Um, luckily now we're back up to full capacity and, and the actors are uh, 
on board, and we're just hoping we can hang on. This Christmas has been lovely having Rudy back in the building. So. That's awesome. Oh.